Hello, my dear students. How are you all? So, welcome to the very first class of corporate restructuring. So, sir, this is the second class, not the first class. So, my dear students, this is the very first class. The first one was just introduction about the subject itself. We have not studied anything in the first class. That was just, I mean, working as a third umpire in cricket, so that you people should be aware about the subject as well. Just like a cricketer should be aware about his strengths, pitch and all the information related to the ground itself, his team, the opposite team. Just like that we have given you that kind of information. Now it is the very first class for corporate restructuring which we are going to initiate right now. So, first of all, corporate restructuring has the same meaning which we have discussed in the previous class. So what was that? Let me try to, let me try so that you people can remember the meaning. So. Okay, so that was, we are going to start with corporate restructuring, that means part A. We will be finishing the part A first and after that we will be proceeding towards the next part, that is part B and then part C. So corporate restructuring basically has two words, corporate and restructuring. Corporate means company and restructuring means giving a new structure, giving a new structure or to rebuild or to rearrange what you people are basically doing over here is it referring to this i mean the previous class in which we have seen some kind of images as well what what were the those images this is what it, this is what is this this is a building now what you are doing sir you are doing a kind of construction now this building is totally reconstructed and this has been made a lavish house oh my god how great i wish i could be there i wish i could have such kind of home. so apart from that what is this this is a kind of reconstruction or apart from that what was the second word it's restructure rebuild the same thing and after that rearrange now what you have done over here is these things were totally messed up what you have done over here you have arranged them in a very well manner you have repainted them in a very well manner you have rearranged them so the whole phenomena here talks about only a simple thing which is restructuring means giving a new structure, rebuild or to rearrange. Now let's talk about what is this new, giving a new structure, rebuilding, rearranging talks about. It does not talk about building a house. We are company secretaries, we are not labourers. We are not, I mean building, I mean contractors. We are not, I mean builders. We are company secretaries, so we'll be giving such kind of new structures, rebuildings, and rearrangements to business. Sir, why this business requires such kind of corporate restructuring for profitability and growth? For profitability and growth. How that can be achieved? We are we will discuss that in the today's session. Okay, now. Got it? So now here comes a word which means growth. Of course, profitability we all know about that it, it's all about making profit. But when it comes to growth, growth has been divided into two parts. Now, what are those parts? First of all, growth is organic growth. It's organic growth or Inorganic growth. Inorganic growth. So, the whole term over here focuses about only two words, which of one of them is organic, whereas another one is organic. It's I, not C. Okay, it's unorganic. By the time I used to study such kind of words, I relate them exactly to the food stuff. Being a Punjabi by heart, I mean, we people are all the time feeling hungry. So that's why we used to have that much stomach, right? So, anyways, organic growth. What does that mean? It means growth by internal sources. Growth by internal sources without change in entity. 
okay so what is that that means let us suppose that there is a company named as infosys what infosys is doing infosys is basically doing expanding marketing team expanding marketing team so that they can acquire other things also they can acquire other things also let us suppose at super profs what we are doing over here that we are basically providing multiple 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 professors we are giving pre recorded we are giving live classes we are giving a lot of things for that what we people are doing we are getting a lot of professors involved are basically our team for corporate restructuring is expanding is expanding we are involving more and more people into that so what we are basically doing we are taking the whole help of internal resources that means only the resources which are available with us only the resources which are available with the company itself. only the resources which the company has already have not using anything from the external sources okay so what does it generally happen let me show you that i mean what kind of that example is so this is all about referring to this that all the things over here all the things over here which are over there in the room itself what am i doing i am just totally referring to them and i'll rearrange them what i'll do i'll rearrange them once i'll rearrange them this room will be totally looking like this okay not exactly like this not exactly like this but somehow it will look totally neat and clean so what i am doing i have used only the internal resources only the internal resources i have not used anything from outside i have used my internal resources only after that this this room is going to be look like this now after this this one is organic growth organic now the second one this was a house which looks like basically i mean an old house what we call as khandar what it was khandar exactly so after that i have used or i have i mean basically we have used a lot of material from outside we have used such woods i mean pillars blah 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 gates and a lot of things after that this house had been made like this so i have used some outside sources right i have used some outside sources na yes or no at least say yes or no yaar yeah? come on you're not sleeping na okay so in organic growth what we basically used to do when it comes to organic growth it clearly says that organic growth is basically done with external sources how that can be done you do, you need not to write down ex in examination that external sources it means by acquiring new business by acquiring new business the new business how that can be acquired that can be acquired by merger and amalgamation it can be acquired by merger amalgamation that can be acquired by takeover okay this is basically how would i acquire the another business as i told you about vodafone and hutchison now idea exactly so what was over there there was between reliance airsel okay lots of other things are over there which are related to merger and amalgamation apart from that you must have heard about that uh, tata motors tata motors acquired jaguar and land rover you know about that that jaguar and land rover they are basically owned by tata motors you do you know that no no seriously jaguar and land rover both of the companies are owned by tata motors apart from that there were axis bank has taken a free recharge right apart from that vodafone okay tata and chorus you must have heard about tata chorus no no tata chorus they are basically into steel they are basically into steel and they are leading by the time they have merged they were at second and third positions now they are leading so apart from that let's move ahead let's talk about the next things as well 
Hope all of you have noted it down. It's very easy. It's nothing like that corporate restructuring is difficult. It's very easy. So apart from that, positive change and size over a period of time. Over a period of time. Growth can be achieved. by corporate restructuring if anybody sounds it a little bit difficult just let me know i am going to explain that with same example let us suppose that there is a society what is it it's a society and this society basically there are only two vendors for all the household products for all the products which are related to a general store that is a and another one is B. So they are only wholesale vendors. Wholesale vendors. For all the products which are related to of general products. For general products. Now A has a shop over there and B has a shop at a different place. Now what happened? They both of them got merged. They both of them got merged and they have opened a unit known as AB. Now the share which they have, which they used to have earlier, let us suppose earlier rice was there and A used to sell the rice at 100 rupees. B used to sell them at 90 rupees. Let us suppose there was something else that was uh, that was anybody anything else I mean rice and apart from that what are the I mean basically okay let us let us take it as sugar it used to sell it at ninety and he used to sell it at hundred so what is that that is basically that is basically what that is competition now once they will be merged they will be enjoying monopoly they will be enjoying monopoly. Once they will be enjoying monopoly, then either they can sell rice at 120 and sugar at 120. Of course, that will be more profitable. That will be more profitable for them as compared to the previous scenarios. Right? Such kind of examples are very easy to be there in your mind all the time. We'll be there, start we'll start them with the examples as well. So let me take another example now. So what does A basically? A is basically a company. This company, what will, what does this company basically do? This company is a trading company. Trading company of shoes. And it has many, many people who are over there being as its customer. Okay. So, this trading company used to suffer from shortage of supply. From shortage of supply they were suffering from shortage of supply just because of them customers turns out to be unsatisfied customers turns out to be not happy now what happened now a limited a company has been merged with z limited who is z limited z limited is basically shoe manufacturing company Shoe manufacturing company. Now Z Limited is going to give shoes to A and A is going to sell them. Will there be shortage of supply any time? No. Let us suppose that A Limited was suffering from shortage of supplies of shoes. Now customers are waiting at the doors. What he can do? Sir, I don't have shoes. Sir. How can I sell them? Now Z Limited, what Z Limited is going to do? Z Limited has, has been merged with A Company. A Limited. Let us write it as A limited. Now, will there be any shortage in supply? No, sir. There will be no shortage ever. Okay. So, just like this, the next topic relates to the same thing. Need of corporate restructuring. Need of corporate restructuring. Now, we will be discussing these things with example relating to each and everything. Okay. So, the very first point is. 
to focus on core strength to focus on core strengths let us suppose that in market there are two companies m limited and n limited m limited has quality but they do not have that much few products n limited has quantity many products they have many products okay so now if both of them are going to be merged both of them are going to be merged and they are going to form a company named as mn limited now this company will have quantity plus quality both of them right that can be related to anything that can be related to shoes that can be related to car that can be related to shirt pen laptops computers whatever you think so one company has basically lot of lots and lots of customers one company has only products okay so let me take another example what is over there x limited x limited is a manufacturing company and there is one more company which is y limited y limited has is basically a marketing company it has lots of customers lots of customers are there it has lots of customers it has products it has products but it does not have customers are not there they do, being a manufacturing unit they don't know how to i mean basically approach customer but they have customers but they have no products but they do not have any products now both of them are going to be merged both of them are going to be merged now once they will be merged then a company is formed xy limited now what this company xy limited is going to do it will have products and it will have customers as well right so what both of them are basically doing both of them focus are focusing on core competencies core strength what was strength of x limited its strength was manufacturing product what was strength of marketing its strength was getting customers they know how to get customers but they do not know how to manufacture so both of them have pulled in their resources and after that focusing on their com core competencies that can be done through merger amalgamation and take over right so apart from that let's move ahead to the next point achieve okay i'm not going to explain such kind of points again and again you people are not in i mean foundation okay okay achieve economies of scale sir what are you doing with these headphones oh yaar it hurts sometimes yeah, exactly so achieve economies of scale by expansion and diversion all of you know about expansion that what is expansion right so now what are economies of scale generally in cr economies of scale means goals i know i know there are a lot of people who have studied economics they are going to tell me sir it does not mean it means optimum utilization of resources with which you can producing higher level of commodities you can reduce your price i know that i know that matter chill ke nahi aaya i mean by peeling off the peanuts we are not here we have already started a lot of things so achieve goals by expansion and diversion next point should i go ahead i'm not going to explain each and every point this is just i mean you can achieve goals by expansion let us suppose that i am over there let us suppose a company is in india that company is samsung samsung india okay now this company wants to go to us 
in spite of approaching to us they need to establish a capital base over there they need to have office they need to have manufacturing places they need to have their marketing place they need to have a lot of things in us right lots of things in us as well and there are some laws which are related to us which they need to comply they you need to have manpower so in spite of that approaching directly to us they what they have done they have entered into a merger amalgamation samsung plus apple where is apple apple is already in the us now they come up with samsung so okay this is what is this this is a model now samsung is there in us this is just an example my dear students even apple has that much worth that he, that he can i mean buy samsung any day apple has that much cash even more than the budget of its country exactly budget you know no budget budget is launched every year i mean in february exactly the budget the total budget of us they have that much cash only only cash exactly they have that much cash of amount equivalent to budget of us so they can buy samsung any time i mean so apart from them let's go ahead let's talk about the next point the next point is to achieve corporate performance to achieve corporate performance and to bring a at par with competitors to bring it at par means to be equal here par is does not mean face value is equal to yeah exactly that accounting form for the will not apply over here to bring it at par means to bring it equal to the competitors to just stand next to the competitors you will not be you should never be behind your competitors okay so to in order to achieve that corporate performance this for this only this was the only reason for which tata and corus were basically merged now let's talk about next point Con to consider constant supply of raw material now how that can be done let us suppose there was a company named as z limited z limited z limited used to manufacture shirts and raw material was given to them by a limited a limited used to give them raw material a limited used to give them raw material all the time but being a limited has a lot and lot of lots of lots of consumers a limited has lots of consumers lots of other people so sometimes due to this supply has a shortage just because of this shortage z limited was unable to manufacture shirts and just because of that profits were falling profits were very low now what happened so now z limited has finally done a, a great job the z limited has taken over a limited now a limited that all the control of a limited is there with z limited now once a company has taken over another company all the control over management affairs assets is going to be there with z limited now let us suppose i am the owner of a limited now sir the a limited is there with me i am the owner of a limited now will there be ever shortage for supply to supply from a limited to my company no cannot be then it then there can never be never ever be a chance of shortage of supply of goods okay now next is access to scientific research 
and technology. Okay, how that can be done? Sir, this can be done, let us suppose, is a company in India and they want to have some kind of technology. Now this Indian company has went to Japan and enter into a joint venture. Enter into a joint venture. Sir, what does it mean by joint venture? In the very next class, just next to this class, we are going to talk about the joint ventures as well. So, they, they have entered into Japan and entered into a joint venture with a technology company. A technology company. Now, the all the technology com all the technology will be given to the company in India. Right? All the technology which is there with the company in Japan will be given to the Indian company. Great. So, the next point over here which talks about efficient allocation of efficient allocation of managerial capabilities capabilities and infrastructure so what does this basically talks about let us suppose that we have an Indian company they people are masters in providing human resources and they got and what the people are basically lagging into they are lagging into technology so what they are basically doing they want a person who can merge with them who can do such kind of merger amalgamation who can do such kind of corporate restructuring so that they can club the power of their human resources along with technology to make a boost up. So, such kind of allocation of managerial. So, let us suppose an Indian company which is a master of human resource have entered into a merger with a Japanese company which are masters in technology. So, human resource plus technology is going to lead market. That is their vision. That is their goal. So, now let's say, let's talk about the next thing. So, whatever we are discussing, I mean, they are really very, 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 very basic points. So, restructuring over here refers to basically four points four phenomena and with such kind of restructuring can be figured out first of all first of all it's financial financial restructuring then it's technology technological technological restructuring then it's market then apart from that it's organization it's organization now, it's first of all, it's financial. What is basically financial? Financial is basically restructuring the capital base. Restructuring the capital base. Capital base over here refers to the share capital only. And this is generally done for raising finance. Raising finance for new project. What kind of financial restructurings are over there? Example, merger, amalgamation and takeover. Merger, amalgamation and takeover. Let us suppose that there is a company, Micromax. Micromax basically has a vision that every person can get a cell phone just like the Reliance Techniques at 1500 rupees and but they do not have that much money. I mean, micro, Micromax, the worth of Micromax is not that much. So, Micromax is willing to expand at a, at a very larger area, but they do not have money. So, Micromax has entered into a merger amalgamation, have entered into a joint venture or whatever the technique they have adopted, whatever the form they have adopted for, for entering into a new place. For capturing the whole Indian market, what the people are basically doing? They have entered into a joint venture with Reliance. Now, what Reliance is going to do? Reliance is going to finance the new project. They already have the technology. They need someone who is going to act as a financer. So, that can be achieved. When it comes to technology, technological restructuring is all about alliance with. Alliance with other company. Alliance with other company to exploit. Technological expertise. 
So this is basically an analysis which is to be done with another company. Just like I have given you an example that there is an Indian company which is which those people are masters in providing human resources, and they have a tie-up with foreign company which is there in Japan, which they have they are masters in technology. So. Clubbing with both of them, entering into a joint venture, doing mergers, doing amalgamations, or doing any kind of takeover, will give them a restructuring of technology. Market restructuring refers to product segment, product market segment, okay, and organizational restructuring means internally, means internal structures and procedures, internal structures and procedures how that is generally done let us suppose the first kind of internal restructuring can be done in that way let us suppose that there is a uh, there is a particular loan which has to be get financed from icici bank a company wants to avail a loan from icici bank now the company approaches icici bank after approaching icici bank there is a I mean a straightforward uh, kind of process which needs to be followed all the time after the loan gets avoided. First, the very first process is the accounts department is going to check the balance sheet on the basis of that we will be figuring out that what kind of loan we our people are basically looking for. After that, the secretarial department is going to check that sir, whether we are within the limits as per section number 186 and right. They are going to check the compliances. Apart from that, now the finance department is going to look after and they are going to check that what kind of loan we are requiring and for how much time at what kind of rate of interest, how much rate of interest is required. So what are they? After that, the same will be referred to board meeting. The board of directors are going to give their consent on that. So what is that? That is basically a process. That is basically a process, a four layer process, which is going to be followed in the company itself. Now, sir. That internal procedure, that internal restructuring is all about organizational restructuring. So, hope all of you have noted it down and the students who have not noted it down, please note it down so that we can proceed ahead. We can I mean, talk about the next topic. So, our next topic is about modes of corporate restructuring. Here we are going to talk about whatever the types of by types of word which we have used like joint venture, we have used merger, amalgamation, takeover, reconstruction. What does they basically mean? It's not about that. I mean buildings, buildings, they are not you are not going to write them in exam. Modes of corporate restructuring. So what are the basically the modes? First of all, we are going to talk about merger. This term merger is not defined into Companies Act 2013. So merger, merger is not there in Companies Act 2013. What does this basically mean? It means fusion or absorption of one company. another fusion or absorption of one company by another that what they are doing they one company is going to absorb another company okay one company is going to absorb another company now where one or two companies one or two companies loses their legal identity after transferring all its assets and liabilities other company so what is a merger basically let us suppose there are two companies X limited plus Y limited now they will be forming a company which is Y limited this is what this is resultant company resultant 
company or you can call it as amalgamated company amalgamated company so what is what they are basically doing all the assets and liabilities all the assets all the liabilities of x limited are going to be transferred to y limited so what y is basically doing y company is going to absorb y company is going to absorb x limited they are going to absorb x limited let us suppose i had water what i am doing i am going to absorb water just like that y limited is totally going to absorb is totally going to absorb have you seen sand just drop a glass of water on to on sand what you will find is they have absorbed they have absorbed. just like this all the assets all the liabilities will be transferred to y limited and y limited is going to absorb x limited now after merger amalgamation its legal identity will be finished its legal identity will be finished let me tell you about for example airsel plus reliance have you heard about airsel now no sir it's only reliance it's only reliance okay so what reliance has basically done reliance has absorbed the airsel totally Reliance has absorbed ASL totally that has been absorbed by ASL. So whenever there is an absorption of one company by another, it's totally a merger. It's totally a merger. Okay. Got it. Just like a husband is absorbed by his wife. Exactly. Let's talk about the next thing as well. Merger. The next is amalgamation. amalgamation again the amalgamation is not defined over there in companies act 2030 it only says two or more companies join together to form a new entity what is amalgamation basically let us suppose that a limited plus b limited is equal to ab limited what is ab limited ab limited is a new identity or they have made for c limited what is c limited is a new entity c limited is again a new entity got it so what they were basically they were some previous entities they were also previous entities and they are new entities got it should we go ahead there are some lighting issues it's okay but you need to focus over there on the screen not at my face so apart from that what was that that they are they are going to form a new entity that is what we call as amal amalgamation just like this this happens in one of the cases which was brook bond Brook Bond. Have you heard about Brook Bond? Brook Bond T. So Brook Bond India Limited. They had amalgamated with Lipton India Limited. Lipton India Limited, and later on it became Brook Bond Lipton India Limited. This was basically a term of amalgamation when there is a new entity has been formed. Okay, what happens in merger? A merger in, when a merger, a thing gets absorbed by another one. Exactly. Should we go ahead? Okay. So the next point is restructuring. It's restructuring. so what is basically a restructuring again what you are going to write in examination restructuring is basically act of construction again act of construction which is to be done again repairing restoring 
टू फॉर्मर अपियरेंस रिस्टोरिंग टू फॉर्मर अपियरेंस जस्ट लाइक दिस इन योर फोन यू हैव एन ऑप्शन फॉर रिस्टोर टू डिफॉल्ट राइट That is what we call as restructuring also. Restore default, right? So what generally happens that all the changes which you have made that can be related to any of the softwares or any of the applications which you are using. Let us suppose that you are using WhatsApp, right? So I'm sorry. So what happens then? You are using WhatsApp and you have made some changes about your profile picture, about your status, and you have made some changes. After that, what you are going to do? You are going to do that. Uh, you are going to, I mean, re reset them to defaults. Then what is going to happen? All the changes which have been made will be made back to the original version. Will be back to the basic version again. Now, after that, restructuring is also basically transferring of business. or undertaking to another company specially formed for purpose specially formed for purpose for that purpose so what is that basically See that there there is a company A Limited. A Limited has transferred all business. That they are saying that they are A Limited is not going to work now. I mean we are not uh, happy with that company. So let's transfer all the business to Z Limited. Let's transfer all the business to Z Limited. This is also a kind of restructuring. I mean totally transferring the business. to another company you have specially framed this company A what was A A was basically a partnership firm. a was a partnership firm and now they have decided to transfer all the business to z limited okay now another scenario is old company goes into liquidation you know what is liquidation i mean exactly liquidation is basically when the company is going to be dissolved that is a process which is followed to get a company dissolved company goes into liquidation shareholders what will happen with what will happen will with shareholders shareholders will be given shares in new company shares in new company now let us suppose that there was a company a limited what happened with a limited that this went into liquidation this because of any of the things that they were not profitable or if there was anything related to that like the objects were fraudulent the objects were turned out to be forbidden by law they were contrary to the law they were opposed to public policy or any kind or any kind of such act has been done so the company has been went into liquidation now the shareholders what will happen to the shareholders sir it's a it's a company definitely there should be some shareholders these shareholders will be given shares in b limited these shareholders will be given shares in a new company b limited this new company may have a different name may have a different name different object may have a different name a different object that's it that is that is more than sufficient okay that's more than sufficient so this is all about restructuring whenever you study restructuring this is all the points which should be kept in mind such kind of things are basically known as restructuring so but if it asks you in exam there's a question in an exam which can never be from the such kind of basic things which we people are studying at right now so this is going to be the answer whenever you are going to write anything in examination please write the same exact sentences write the same things as far as you can as absolute as you can try to mention them they are going to give you marks do not try to apply your own language okay apart from that there are some more things which are basically related to disinvestment you have must have heard about that government is basically planning to disinvest in air asia have you heard about that there are so many times that we come to know about them through new channels that government is planning to disinvest their share up to 49% Or forty percent from Air Asia. This is not the first time that such kind of proposal has been initiated. I mean, that has also been initiated earlier also. 
Apart from that, there are joint ventures, there are some franchises, there is slum sale, exactly slum sale from company that exactly. So, uh, and strategic alliance and demergers. So, we are going to cover such kind of things in the next class itself. Now, it's the time for whatever we have, I mean, gone through whatever we have studied in the classroom. Let's discuss that. Okay. Hope all of you have noted it down. For the students who have not noted it down. Where were you? You were sleeping, na? You were texting your baby, na? That's why you didn't, na? It's okay. It's okay. I can understand. But by the time we'll be moving ahead with the chapter itself. So please, you are requested from my side. Pay attention to the classroom itself. Otherwise, the subject, I mean, the subject is one of the most interesting subjects. You will be understanding each and everything. You can, I mean, have a word with the person. He can simply tell you that you are a genius man. You are doing something good in your life. That's why you are able to understand each and everything. Otherwise, I mean, there are a lot of people who are company secretaries who don't know anything. And they are struggling for their jobs. Exactly. So, let's go ahead. So, we have... From where? Okay. So, we have started it from here itself. It's class 1. So, what was company? Company means corporate restructuring. It's a company. Corporate restructuring will be there in your examination for 50 marks. Giving a new structure, rebuilding or rearranging a business for its profitability, profitability and growth. I'll come back, I'll come back. So, there's a positive change in size over a period of time. Growth can be achieved by corporate restructuring. So, what is generally a growth? Growth is generally of two types. Organic, which can be done by internal resources. And there is one more thing, one more kind of growth, which is inorganic. That means by acquiring a new business that can be merger amalgamation or that can be takeover. Both of time kind of things can be done. Okay, that can be from joint ventures, that can be from franchising, a lot of things can be achieved. Okay, so, now, there was, uh, this was the example which we have basically taken. Hope uh, I do not need to repeat the examples now. Got it? I will not repeat the examples. So, after that, need of corporate researching to focus on core strengths. So, basically, there was two companies, they have quality, they have quantity. Once they will go, they will be having both of the things, quantity and quality as well, so X Limited was manufacturing products and they were getting customers. Both of them were different. They do not have customers. They have no products. So they were basically focusing on their core competencies. Now both of them got merged and after that they have products and consumers, both of them. Achieving economies of scale by expansion and diversion. Achieving your goals by expansion and diversion. Let's suppose Samsung is there in India. Yeah, Samsung wants to approach some customers in the US. But Samsung, in spite of that establishing a unit over there, has merged with Apple. Now Samsung is there in US and they can sell their products also. Now, achieve global corporate performance and bring it at par. I mean, you should stand equal to your competitors. You should not be behind your competitors all the time. Considering constant supply of raw material, there was a unit as Z Limited. Z Limited used to manufacture shirts and earn huge profits. So, sir, such kind of supply which would be given to the Z Limited has generally a shortage. What kind of shortage is there? So, A Limited has generally has a lot of basically consumers of raw material and the, that's why Z limiters used to have a shortage. Now Z limited has taken over A limited. Now sir, if they have taken over that will be of great use and after that I mean they are great there will be no shortage. After that access to scientific research and technology in India there's a company which has an expertise over providing manpower and in they want some technology, so they have entered into a joint venture with Japan, so that all the technology which is there with the Japanese company itself will be transferred to the Indian company as they will be working for a common good. Efficient allocation of managerial capabilities, I mean both of the managerial capabilities which are there, you can consider the same example of India and Japan company. So restructuring is basically financial, which is for capital base or raising funds for new project, which can be done for by way of merger, amalgamation, takeover. Technology is aligns with another company. You can again take the example of Indian company and that Japanese company as well. Market product segment and organization, the internal structures and procedures. As I told you that in order to get an award, 
uh, alone accounts department was the first one and after that it has uh, to needs to be transferred to secretarial department then the same will be rectified by finance department apart from after that the same will be transferred to audit committee they are going to check as they consist of a lot of people who are from independence who have in independent capacity and then they are transferred to board so this is basically the whole phenomena which is used to be there in internal structures and now you people have basically done a lot of things that you have deleted finance and audit committee this is what is this and after that directly you can go there so what is that that is a change in internal structures so modes of corporate restructuring merger is basically absorption of one company by another now what is y limited doing over here y limited is basically absorbing x limited and all the assets and liabilities of x limited all the assets all the liabilities will be transferred to y limited and the legal identity of x limited will be finished it will not have any legal identity now the same thing was there with reliance and airsel now reliance is there but airsel has been absorbed now amalgamation there will basically two or more companies who join together to form a new entity let us suppose a and b have joined together to form ab limited or they have joined together to form c limited i mean there will be that is a new entity so just like that brookbond india limited has merged with has amalgamated with lipton india limited and they have come up with a new entity which is brookbond lipton india limited which is a new entity now it's all about restructuring i mean the act of construction again repairing or restoring to the former appearance transferring a business from this was a partnership firm and the whole business has been transferred to z limited what is it it's a company so basically you have formed a company for this purpose for what which purpose for transferring your business old company i mean the old company which is a limited that went into liquidation now all the shareholders of a limited have will be given shares in b limited will be given shares in b limited this b limited the new company can be of a different name can be of a different object as well now sir this is all over for today's class thanks you can now you all can go you all are, you all are free from my side and after that see you in next class and just make sure that you feel free to ask any doubt to ask any doubt just have if you have any doubt in your mind please feel free to ask that so bye bye take care and see you in next class now bye